National Institute of Technology Manipur ge organizing committee na sinduna Augri 2022 hoki ba September ge tang kun gani thoi degi kun ga mari phawa namit humni chupna NIT Manipur ge main stage ta pang thokre Thoramaduda Professor Dr Gautam Sutradhar Director NIT Manipur na Chief Guest Professor Dr Krishnan Baskar Director Triple IT Senapati Manipur na Guest of Honor aduga Dr. Ahibam Dinamani Singh, Din, NIT Manipurna, President Vaina Dais the Punky. Augury 2022 ki welcome address Amadi ki not address ki matang da asem bikas maitaina suna pungdo ki. Here, I am happy to have you all as we begin the celebration of the 10th edition of OGRI. OGRI is the cultural festival of this prestigious institute, NIT Manipur. It is a student organized festival guided by a faculty member or a group of coordinating bodies of faculty. It was first organized in 2013. Since then, it has been organized every year with the addition amendment of events each year. The term OGRI is derived from the root of ancient Manipuri literature dated back to the dawn of the Manipuri civilization. Extending up to 17th century, the Panthobi Konkul, a manuscript of the Manipuri literature, gives an account of the religious and social festival, Lai Haraba, which means which may scholar believe to be a part of cosmological theory of creation in Maitai Mai, where numerous songs are sung. The past few years, we are not able, able to organize this our festival due to the pandemic. Hence, it's been organized after two, year, two years. However, this year, we resuscitate the aura that we had earlier before the pandemic with a reverent and an added test to make the Ogre's 10th edition one of the best mesmerizing so, join us in reviving the memories that surround, generate, and fill the aura together again as we celebrate the annual cultural festival of NIT Manipur, the Ogri 2022. Professor Dr. Krishnan Baskar, Director, Triple IT, Senapati Manipur, na Thaurumadugi Matangda, Sumna Pongdoki. I've been practicing in terms of various forms, and uh, whenever you talk about the religion, because the religion, whatever rituals and practices which we do in any religion and which also showcases as part of our cultural activities. When you take a matter of fact any religion, particularly the Hindu religion when you talk about, and it always talks about uh, the Dharma, Karma and Ahagimsa. I think these are the very important aspects of any human life to have a society with the peace and harmony with the development. That's what we brought all the way through our cultural activities. And then uh, the philosophy which we talk about, any philosophy for that matter, which also depicts about our uh, culture. And when you call as uh, Yoga or Vedanta, which are older than 800 BCE, and then those traditions have been beautifully narrated uh, uh, maybe in the 20th century by great uh, uh, the uh, the authors and uh, the speakers, orators like uh, Swami Vivekananda, Ram Mohan Rai, and uh, Swami Dayananda Saraswati, and so on. And then, whenever, whatever the form of life we are living today, when we talk about a family structure, because in the past uh, our culture, as part of the culture, it used to be a joint families. And when you look at the culture of a joint family in this country, and because in the joint families, we emphasize more to create love and a consent for every family members. That was how it has been evolved over a period, period of time as a family structure and joint families. And today you see that because of the urbanization and then influence of most of the Western cultures and uh, particularly in the urban areas, we can strongly see the nuclear families and uh, uh, because the nuclear families are also one of the reasons that 
the every one of the family member have to make an earning that leads to these kind of uh, the small families because when you look at the culture of indian marriage system and you see that even today the divorce rate of the divorce rate of indian families are only 1% compared to for example in united states it's more than 40% and this also shows that for a period of time whatever rituals which we do in our day to day life as part of our culture which also brought the families together and which created a strong bonding between an husband and wife so that they will adjust each, each other and they also know that each individual is different and then they understand to each other they bind to each other so that they will have a long life ogri 2022 gi matang da professor dr gautam sutradhar director nit manipur na asunna thongki ogri is closely associated with the mythology of creation of mighty civilization i am sure that ogri 2022 will be celebrated and live up to the spirit of it ogri 2022 is a very special for multiple reasons we are having an ogri in its full form after a gap of 2 years because of pandemic as no physical functions could be organized due to covid-19 of course we have done some online ogri last year <clears throat> now today's ogri 2022 symbolizes that the world is back to its normal condition but we should never let our guard down and continue taking all preservative and preventive measures all classes and other activities are back to its physical form from august 16 the campus will now be its full of strength once the first year students will admit which is under process to complete Ogri is an institute level festival but organized and managed solely by the student of this institute with some faculty who are acts as a mentor for them Ogri provides an opportunity to the young students of the state a platform to showcase their talents in multiple fields Ogri also is, a, is the biggest student festival in the state attracting the student from all over the state it is also provides an opportunity to the organizing students and exposure to the real life management of finance coordination public relations and many more real life experiences which they may not get inside the four wall classroom <clears throat> any any nits like nit manipur is a mini india it is or only ex, uh, nits in the and the country having 50% from the state and 50% from the rest of the country even iits are not having this facility but according to this equal compositions from the different states of the country is coming here almost 50% of the total state sit and 50% from this state so because of this here you will also find the students from southern most part of the country to the northern part of the part of the country western most part of the country to the eastern part of the most eastern part of the country like manipur unlike other centrally funded institutes in nit systems is little difference in that that 50% seem to reserved for the home state and rest of the things are filled up by the other parts of the country and it gives actually an opportunity to mix the culture of the different communities and this is a really a, a plus point because 
after passing from any college, even NIT or any college, they may post it anywhere in the India. So this is the added advantage what I believe for the NIT students. I am sure that student will make the best use of their stay in this campus and try to learn and understand the sentimental and uh, the religious cultures and other languages of the country if they really try to use that. NIT Manipur has come a long way from the conducting classes in the temporary campus at Takel with three engineering branches to a full-fledged campus with five engineering branches offering MTech and BTech programs including uh, BTech, MTech and PhD programs into in addition to that three basic sciences are there uh, physics, chemistry, mathematics which offering MSc and PhD programs and also <coughs> HSS department offering PhD programs. It has also been consistently among the top engineering colleges of the country. This year we have ranked 108 as per the NAV ranking uh, 2022 where almost 7500 engineering colleges have participated in this competition. With the talents we have, I am sure that next year this institute will come within 100 top 100 institutes of the country. I hope all the organizers, students, participants will make the best use of this three days festival with discipline and all moral responsibilities. It is your festival and you all have to contribute to make this successful. I wish that Oguri 2020 will be a grand success. Thank you. Jai Hind. Pangtho ki baat hor madugi matang da Dr. Ahibam Dinamani Singh Din NIT Manipur na asum na hai ki. Wish you a very good morning and everyone who has gathered in this warm morning in the in this inaugural function. I wish you all a very good morning. I am indeed very happy that under the guidance of our director NIT Manipur is organizing 10th edition of its festival the Augury 2022. This festival is significant because we are celebrating it after two years of COVID lockdown. This event, in this sense, is the celebration of our success over the fearful and dreadful COVID. At one point of time, we were worried to think that we won't be able to see our lovely students in our campus. In fact, my dear students, this campus without you all is so different and we feel like parents whose child has, be, has been snatched away. Today, in this Agri 2022, we are celebrating your return to the campus, your commitment to strive to excel in your chosen field or professions and your success in surviving those dark days. I am very happy that the contribution of Ogri in personality development of youth is acknowledged by many. Many individuals and organizations have benevolently come out as sponsors. I feel especially proud that alumni of this institute have also sponsored various prizes of this event. This means our alumni are doing well in their respective profession and they are mature enough to give back to the institute in particular and society in general. Augury is a platform where students of different institutes, universities, colleges and schools are going to showcase their talent. We have competitions like debating, quiz, extempore, voice of Augury, dance, Miss Augury to name a few. All these events are planned to bring out the best talents and creativity among the students. Please participate in as many events as possible. This will help you in all round personal, personality development. Apart from these tough competitions, we have a superb plan for you to relax every evening with events like mini night, Mega Night, etc. In short, the organizer has taken all the pain to 
prepare a perfect balanced menu for all of you. The popularity of Agri is unquestionable. It won't be exaggerating to say that this festival is most popular festival of Manipur organized by any educational institute. While I was walking outside, I, we, I along with other faculty members from this state always followed the happening of Agri in your social media, Facebook and Insta. So my dear students of NIT Manipur and all the participants, it is our collective responsibility to make this event peaceful, memorable and popular among all. So I also request the participants from outside to express your grievance or suggestions if any to make this festival an experience of lifetime for all of us. To conclude, I wish all the participants all the best and the Agri 2022 organizing team a grand success. Numit Umni Satharaki Pa Agri 2022 da Tongan Tongan Bakal Sarin Dance Amadi Pazaraba Isai Singh Miyam Utki. Na 
ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಕ ಪೈ ದಿವ್ಯ ನರ್ತದೇವಿ
his brotherhood of men for whatever that means. And so I cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to get it out loud. What's in my head and then I'm feeling a little peculiar. And so I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath cause I get real high and I scream from the top of my lungs what's going on and I say You wrote when you told me that I was the only girl you'd ever want in your life. Kiss my face where I. Each day goes by and each night I cry. Somebody saw you with her last night. You keep me your word, don't worry about her. You might love her now, but you love me first. It's you. Hotel and she